Welcome back to Empress Radio, where we do trending topics in reality TV and live streams. So join us now. Do you need to build your YouTube channel or do you have a business or a website that you need to rebrand? Well, join us now at Empress Consults at www.empressconsults.com or hit us up on Instagram at Empress Radio. Okay, so enjoy the video now. Hey, you guys, we're live, so giving you a few seconds to come in. All right, we're live. Hey, everyone. Hopefully, everyone's having a good day so far, a good morning or afternoon, depending on where you guys are at, you know. So I really actually did not feel like doing any videos or coming back to YouTube with all the drama that's been going on. I've been having, like, anxiety and stuff, so I'm just like, I don't even want to do it, you know. But that's what the devil wants. They want you to just, like, give up and not, you know, not be on your game and stuff like that. Like, they they just been messing with YouTubers lately, like, you know, um, in this sector. People just want to, you know, dismantle Melody's fans, and they're just, like, coming for them, just, like, you know, picking at them, and I'm not going to let that happen, you know. So back to our regularly scheduled programming. I wanted to talk about Funky Deneva. So he's linking up with the Scots, um, and he's had a problematic history coming for Melody Cherie and um, I'm going to show you guys what's going on recently so he's promoting them let me see so uh, it says Black Cigar Lounge as seen on Love and Marriage Huntsville presents Funky Deneva's Down to the Bar Huntsville R&B Day Party Sunday May 26, 2024 special guest to be announced soon tickets on sale soon and it says save the date and then Funky Deneva says Huntsville people Huntsville people I had to get my brother at Marceau on the line and let him know we trying to drink and eat up all they food down to the black uh, cigar lounge. He told me, bring your ass. Then I had to get at show enough Miss Wanda on the line and see if she'd help host this bad boy. All the logistics have been worked out, Huntsville. Save the date. I'm coming to show out and have a great um and have a great, it doesn't say, a great day, I guess, with the real people of Huntsville. Get y'all outfit and your knees ready. We about to have a good time. So somebody's excited. They're like, oh, you heard my cry. Now look here, Nessa. My due date is May 25th, but I'm going to see if I can hold on till about 27 so I can come see you. That's funny. Um, someone said they could only fit seven people down at the black. <laughs> you guys are shady. Anyway, so this is what's going on. Um, so as you guys know, on the show, Funky Deneva has showed up at Black and he had like a little episode, um, even though around the time he was saying that he wasn't, um, I remember he said him saying that he wasn't really on, on their side or something like that, but he really was. Um, so this was Funky Deneva on the show when he had visited Black. I'm not going to play a lot because you guys know how they've been tripping lately with the um, clips. So. Okay. And did y'all get the tussling in the parking lot or something like I'm, oh so he was talking about that fight at the parking lot that they had <laughs> destiny's madani re 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 so yeah um so funky deneva was on there she he was testizing tisha they said folks was talking about people kids what happened well i heard what happened was i was there but we was like inside destiny's business um they said mel went outside to my mom's area confronted her about the lie that she did mom and mel are out the outside and then martel all right so we already know what happened then like i said i'm not gonna play too much because they've been tripping lately but yeah so funky and eva was there at black um on the show and then he met up with miss wanda at black and miss wanda was all happy to see him 
Um, so I'm gonna show you guys that because I still have it. Hey, baby, come on, help me. You know I've been dying to meet you. That was that. Um, and then after that, it looked like Funky Deneva just like switched up and started disrespecting Melody all the time. Um, but before that, I want to show you guys this like sob story that Marceau had did. Um, saying that I guess he saved his business or something. He was way more emotional than he ever showed Tisha any emotions um, in this post. So let me show you guys. I guess that's his brother or whatever. So um, he says this, my conversation with Quentin, a.k.a. Miss Funky Deneva. This was um, a Sunday Minx liking it. Uh, anyways, um, November 20th, 2022. But so uh, my conversation with Quentin, a.k.a. Miss Funky Deneva, he showed friendship to a stranger whilst talking mad-ish about me and T. This is how to do it. Thanks, bro. Uh, hashtag black chocolate in a bottle. He said, the top part is cut off. The text says, bro, you took my call, made one call, made a connection, vouched for me, gave me a ride, took me to the airport, promoted my product with enthusiasm and continue and continuously does more than expected or earned. Coming from a guy who no one does anything for, that means the world. You are walking your walk and ain't even talked talking your talk. I sincerely appreciate everything you have done. You have helped my business immeasurably and I am rich because of it. Rich because I have more than I earned. Really dope, bro. Of course, there will be compensation, but honestly, I don't have enough to pay you for what you have done. You looked out. You helped. You were an answer. Like, Honestly, you were the break I needed after working so hard for every game. Thank you. So that's what Marceau has said. And then Funky said, shut your mouth. We black men displaced in a world that is threatened by us. I am my brother's keeper. It's my obligation to give. I love you because you're my brother. It costs me nothing to help. Don't worry about compensating me. I got good credit with karma. Now sell them bottles, nigga. And tell Tisha and Wanda I said hi. Oh, you're back. <laughs> my dog, she just went on the wall. And tell Tisha and Wanda, I said, hey, as I am sitting at the bar drinking, literally just somebody literally just walked in. So that is what Marcel posted. It's funny that Sonny Minx was like a producer um, at that time, you know. I think it's unprofessional that she stole Destiny's Man, but whatever. <laughs> That's besides the point. Anyway, so... Um, Marceau had made that long message to um, to Funky Deneva, like praising him and stuff like that. Um, and then, so now, like I said, now uh, Funky Deneva is promoting their business. Obviously, you know, like since it's alleged that the um, Bit Black had been shut down or whatever. So now they're trying to, you know, do this big party um, down Funky Deneva's down to the bar. Winter. Thank you. Funky Deneva's down to the bar party, like I said, uh, Huntsville R&B day party, Sunday, May 26, 2024. Okay, so at, like I said, um, I mentioned that after he started getting close to um, to the Scots, he started like just coming for Melody, like just really disrespectfully, you know? So I'm going to let you guys hear what he has to say. And my phone's on 8%, so hopefully it doesn't die in the process. So this is what Funky Deneva had to say. Y'all can call it whatever the fuck you want to call it. I don't fuck with Mel. I don't talk to men. Y'all go go ahead. Y'all go try to dress it up as oh, because I know Marceau them. I'm blindly rocking for Marceau and Tisha them. And that, and and that honestly has nothing to do with it. And it. I don't fuck with Mel, and here is why. I can't get down with somebody who is so committed to wanting to damage somebody's marriage or prove 
that they are cheating or prove that they have gone through some type of marital problems. Melanie has made it her life's mission to expose more so and, and bring Tisha into the light about her husband. Let me tell y'all something. Tisha know who the fuck she married. All right? And I'm going to keep it 100 at this point. It ain't a bitch alive watching Mary the Madison that don't believe Marcel has cheated on Tisha at some point in their marriage. We all fucking do. Okay? We all do. The reality of the situation is y'all ain't got no proof and Tisha is operated by if I ain't got no proof and they didn't damn that lady ain't damn dumb. That lady is not stupid. Okay? At this point, Bell, let it go. Let it go. Y'all show was supposed to be about y'all building some damn houses in the comeback group. We just saw the special on hold. You decided at that dinner scene to open the world up to the fact that your husband was cheating on you with coleslaw and then the storyline grew legs and you became America's most embarrassed woman for a couple years. You did all that, all right? Did the others take joy in discussing your marriage perhaps yes. but you laid it all out there so you don't get to come back now and retroactively be mad that people were discussing your marriage honestly and truthfully that was the meat and potatoes of the whole show so if it wasn't for people discussing your marriage you wouldn't even be where you at right now mama. so i'm not understanding truthfully what, what you are mad at at this point you're divorced you, you, you're doing your singing, your 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 gigs, you're selling your products. Martell has moved on. Why is it so ingrained on your brain to make to expose Marcel for cheating? All right. Like I said, it ain't a person alive watching Love and Marriage Huntsville that don't believe Marcel ain't cheated on Tisha ass at some goddamn point. All right. But unless y'all are going to bring the pictures, the photographs. The video, pictures are photographs, the videos, documentation, confirmation. I'm going to need y'all to let it low. They're just throwing it out there. Oh, well, you need to ask your husband. Well, you not know it's your husband. Be like in the morning. I mean, those vague ass statements. You give us the. Do it. You need to be worried about when your ass can be coming home at three o'clock in the morning. I mean, those vague ass statements. You give her the tea. You was trying to bring Alana on the show. Get her on the show. Leave her up with a longer hell. Have Don call me. Have your manager Don call me. How would Alana sit down and do an interview with me if Alana is who he was cheating with? But if you can't produce the receipts at this point, leave it alone. Love and Marriage Huntsville has taken a turn in a direction that, quite frankly, I'm personally not interested in partaking in. Um, it's just gotten toxic. And I don't know if I'm getting older or if it's because I've occupied this reality TV space for so long that I just don't have the tolerance for the level of toxicity, the delusions, the gaslighting, all of that. And when I saw the reunion and just the way, you know, Bell was just when when they asked uh, 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 the cousin Kiki, you know, has Tisha ever expressed that she's had any doubts in her marriage about what was going on? And she's and, and Tisha, but uh, Kiki was like, "Well, I mean, yeah." The way Bell just you like you like that you like it, and it just it really says a lot about you. That you just you you taking so much pleasure. It's like what what I want to know is if Marceau's mistress, whoever he's slept with in the past, if they came out today or tomorrow on the cover of the New York Times, then what? You gonna get thirty seconds of gratification? And then what? What does that do for you? Does it make you feel better because your shit fell apart? I'm just saying so. All right. 
So you guys heard that. That was the first time he kind of disrespected her, called her all kind of bees and say he don't fuck with her and stuff, which is fine. You don't have to fuck with her, but don't be disrespectful, right? So then recently he also had dragged her. Um, I'm going to show you guys this really quick. And then I'm going to show you guys what Melody's brother clapped back to Funky Geneva. So hold on. Talk moments and stuff that Melody. I'll know any. And that's another reason why I consciously made a choice that moving forward, I will never let y'all know any longer who in the entertainment industry I know. Because the moment y'all see me take a photo with one person, have a drink with one person, then I go to give my commentary because that. Hold on. That's the person you don't like. All of a sudden, I'm labeled biased. I have said the same thing about Marceau and Tisha. Now, here is the thing, right? You've got Marceau, the real person, and then you've got Marceau, the character that he plays on that doggone TV show. Do I think Marceau has cheated around on Tisha? The way he acted on that show? Probably so. Probably. Probably so, the way he acts on the show. But I also know that being that dickhead character that's that's got you, you like him, but you hate him, is also something that Marceau gets off on. Lastly, y'all so quick to want to damn those people's marriage. Where the lady at? Where she at? Where she at? Come on now. Everybody else side chick is so quick to want to run to the blogs. Where's she at? And if he did cheat on Tisha, if he did cheat on Tisha, he cheated on her the right way. The way that y'all need to be asking y'all fucking husbands to do. Because see, y'all husbands cheating on y'all and embarrassing y'all and got y'all somewhere crying, watching, waiting to exhale, ready to burn up his clothes. Y'all want to make Tisha believe that her husband cheated on her so bad. And maybe he did. And maybe he is. And maybe he did pay her off, according to some of y'all. But bitch, ain't that the right motherfucking thing to do? Ain't that the right thing to do? At least he had enough. If he did do it, at least he had enough respect for his goddamn wife to not embarrass her in front of the whole wide world. Like, come on. And so that's why I got so mad with the Love and Huntsville marriage crowd because Melanie was going through what she was going through. That's why I got so mad with the Love and Huntsville marriage crowd because Melanie was going through what she was going through with her divorce and she was making it a point to want to make Tisha be in the same boat that she's in. And maybe Tisha is in the same boat she's in. But until you can provide some concrete receipts we saw Ariane Curry. Until you can provide some concrete receipts, leave that lady alone. And I'm going to tell you, that's the same thing with Dr. Heavenly and Dr. Damon right now. The bad. Martel Hope. Do the people in the chat think Martel can hunch? Y'all think Martel can hunch? Quiet as his cap, honey. His ass just got arrested. He died into the jail. He might be somewhere bent over, tooted and booted, getting hunched, okay? Because that's a whole lot of tussy cat he got back there. And he a fine-ass man, but the people say no. Ooh, y'all don't, y'all think it's big. Don't it be disappointed when a man so fine, his ego so big, and then he drop his drawers, and it be like, little boy, go get us something to eat from Burger King. Give me a double whopper with cheese and a chocolate shake. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be here when you get back. Put down. I want y'all to drop down in the chat because, baby, this, this, this is fucking not even unfiltered. We finna be real, real mess. I'm finna put a solid five. Bitch, that's a five for me. I put a solid five. I don't, I don't know. Martel could probably hunch. Martel give me that his ego is so big. Eating it up. Y'all some messy bitches. All that matter is Sheree liked it temporarily. I mean, but that don't that that don't mean much. And Melanie, you know, you know one thing I will say about women. Y'all will lay up and man and let a man.
put babies and stuff all up in you, and then you want to come for you know, no shade. Martel was so caught up in his ego and his narcissistic ways that he skipped over so many reads that he could have gave Melody. I would have told Melody this good enough to have your ass digmatized for all those years while I was you and Cole saw, and you was begging me to come home at night when I was lying to your ass saying I was going to the gym, but I was working out in that young. That's what I would have said. She'd have walked off that stage crying fuck around with me. It was good enough to have your ass begging and crying down to the reality TV. Now you want to act like it wasn't good. It was something good about it. It was good enough to make your ass go get that license and put this business in your name and be the bread and butter while I was slanging all around town. That's what I would have told her ass. He should have called me. I would have wrote that shit down on a sticky note and told her what to tell her ass down to the reunion. You ain't gonna embarrass me. You ain't gonna embarrass me. And if that didn't work, I would have, listen, I don't give a damn if I was lying. I would have attacked her hygiene. I would have called her all types of oysters, Rockefeller. <laughs> and I would have said, that's why I was unable to make you come because I was too busy trying to run, Captain Crab. Okay, so y'all girls don't be knowing what to say. The, the straight men be thinking that they don't need a gay friend. Y'all don't be knowing what to say. The, the straight men be thinking that they don't need a gay friend. The straight men need a gay friend so y'all can learn how to read. Because she would not have gotten away with doing me like that in front of capacity. I, I could have stayed home to be embarrassed. I don't put on all my good clothes, my good cologne. I don't put some gold bomb powder down on my look. And you gonna talk about it? That's supposed to be private. Since that's the problem with y'all, things ain't private no more. It, my private supposed to be private. It's supposed to be private. But you want to talk about my privacy? Oh, and Carlos King was just eating it up. Carlos King was just back there eating it up, honey. Hit it hard from the bed. I bet you Carlos King took his gas down there, bailed Martel out. Where was your man sleeping at last night, Carlos King out? And now, who? And now, who? Y'all want me to go back to Huntsville? Because if I go back to Huntsville, they're going to have to let me back on the show. And I'm bringing Miss Wanda on. All right, John. Okay. All right, so you guys heard that. And you see what he said at the very end. So if you look on um, his page, on his, um, let me see. Let me try to go back really quick. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a second. So if you look what he had to say, at towards the end, he has said, like, I'm going back to be on the show, you know, and I'm going to have Miss Wanda. So I think he's trying to get Miss Wanda back on the show because look at what he says in the caption. Hold on, let that car go by. Is that motorcycle? So it's at Huntsville people, Huntsville people. I had to get my brother at Marceau on the line and let him know we trying to drink and eat up all the food down to the at Black Cigar Lounge. He told me, bring your ass. Then I had to get at Show Enough Wanda on the line and see if she'd help host this bad boy. All the logistics have been worked out. Huntsville, save the date. I'm coming to show out and have a great uh, day with the real people of Huntsville. Get y'all outfits and y'all knees ready. We about to have a good time. So um, like I said, Black Cigar Lounge, Funky Deniva's down to the bar. And then it said Love and Marriage Huntsville presents. So you know this is going to be on the show allegedly, you know. But when Melody did that big event with Hill Harper, literally a politician in the making, you know, um, there were no cameras nowhere to be found. So I just think that's a little ironic, you know. So I want to show you guys before I get back to the, the part that's recent is the flyer. It's coming up on May 26, 2024. So about a month and a half now. Um, but yeah, so anyways, um, I read, I read a comment and lost my train of thought. Oh, I want to show you guys what Melody's brother had to say because he didn't like that. He's like, oh, so you're going to use like, you know, being gay to disrespect my sister. I'm gay and I don't like, I don't like that, you know? So I'm going to show you guys what Melody's brother had to clap back. I love Marcus. So shout out to him. Um, this is what he had to say here. And she's big enough to handle her own situation. Um, but. For me, the way I feel right now is like she's kind of out there by herself and she doesn't have any support except the great support that she has from, I call them, you guys, the, the millimeters. Everybody else say millimeters. 
but um, she has great support and love from you all. But as far as like, feel like a family member, you know, in her corner to, you know, have more support, I don't see it there. And a lot of times we don't get involved because we know a lot of that stuff comes with the territory. Uh, what's going on, Southern Butterfly? Um, so, but I just feel like the need for me, it had to be addressed. A couple of things had to be addressed. I thought about addressing something, that, especially when it comes to guys. You know, women, um, ladies, y'all can go back and forth with her and all that. That's, I, I'm fine with that. But when it comes to men attacking, you know, that's a whole different story for me. And I let himself go back a couple of months ago with a guy that kept on running his mouth saying stuff about her. And, you know, and I started to get on and say some stuff then, but I, you know, I was like, no, just let it go. Let it go. Let the girls go do what they do. Um, so, you know, I just kept quiet. Um, I sure will, Gina. Thank you, Tanya. I'll let them know. Um, so, yeah, um, a couple of things, you know, pretty, that bother me. And I appreciate after I heard um, Monkey Dine comments, I went back and listened to some other people's comments. And I've been chit, chit chat with QT was killing queen sheba always now i listen to like i said i get a couple of people on my um, instagram page that send me um some bloggers comments and i listen to them and um i think a lot of times we get some good information from them and they have very good perspectives but i think when you are blogging you just one-sided that is, is that's i feel it's not right and another thing is that you one-sided against my sister then, you know, I'm, of course, I'm not going to like that, but I don't deal with it. I just let it go. So just to let y'all know, I'm not a blogger. Um, what else I need to put? Everything I say is alleged. Everything I do is alleged. What else they be saying about all that stuff? Whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm just the person talking. Um, so I just want to address a couple of things. So old boy made a comment. Go back to my original page. Made a made a comment about um, I found myself being myself having negative emotions and feelings. My mood being altered over people that I don't know and um, off of a piece of programming on television. I feel the same way when it comes to bloggers. I found myself, or I'll say a blogger. I found myself becoming emotionally uh, drained and feeling my mood being um, altered over some comments that you made, um, you know, about my sister and. Um, so I guess it's the same way you feel about the things that have taken place uh, because of the way the fans react to the to the show. And so you decide you're not going to watch. Um, and obviously you haven't been watching because just about everything you said was not true. Um, you know, you I understand you got too close to the situation. So you kind of know how I feel. I'm real close to the situation, too. So it is a different feeling when you are really close to the situation. I'm close to the situation because it's my sister. You're close to the situation now, obviously, because of some unknown factor. And some people will say they know what the factor is, you know, but as far as I'm concerned, I don't know what the factor is. Um, you made a comment. You said you, you get you gotten too close to the situation. You said, hey, like, you know, those people. No, you said the fans get too close, got to get too close to the situation because a like they know these people B, like they were there. And you said C. Well, actually, you said Three, but you meant to say C. You said three, like y'all produced the show. So, um, you know, obviously, you've been getting some information from somewhere. So you've been getting some cake or some hot dogs from somewhere. For you to know what's really going on, because you know, I listen to a lot of comments that people make, and I agree. A lot of them don't know what's going on. And a lot of the comments are incorrect. It's close, but it's not quite there. And so, you know, you making a comment about people talking about what they don't know because they were not there, they don't produce the show. Um, so obviously that lets me know that you're somewhere, you know, get some information, some inside information. And so one thing, and I, I one thing that struck me was a few months, you no, know, about two years ago, you were making some comments about Melody that were like very harsh. Um, when I first heard of you, I had never heard of you before. And you were making some very harsh comments and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna have to say something. But after I ended up on the show, I did notice that your comments changed about Melody. For whatever reason, she became a person that you liked. And then you start getting on those other people, um, addressing their situation 
and pointing out their flaws, which were true. But now all of a sudden, because you're getting cake, you're eating cakes and hot dogs from this table over here, now you want to come back around and everything you can find, say God. is negative about Melody. Um, so I don't know. It's like double-minded, unstable, um, just really just crazy to me because you, your perspective of a person should not change so drastically. Um, like for the show, for me, I'll just put it up there. Marcel, I like Marcel from day one. I didn't even didn't know him from watching the show. I was like, okay, he's pretty cool. I like Marcel. Um, I don't have a problem with Marceau at all. My feelings, and even though what I see on the show has taken place, my real my feelings haven't really changed. I just put in my mind that it's TV and try not to get into it. You know, we don't have no relationship. Don't get me wrong. I don't have a relationship with him, but he's I've, he's been the same since I've been watching the show to me. And I mean, he's, he's, he's a likable person on the show. Um, so I don't understand how, if you are a blogger and you, because Melody hasn't changed, she's doing the same thing that she's, well, she's she's saying a little bit because she's not fooling with people that mean her no good. But other than that, so I don't see how you can go from I don't like this woman, which you don't know or you didn't know then. Then all of a sudden you start liking her. You're making positive comments about her. Then the now you're making negative comments. I mean, which is crazy. I mean, but, I, you know, you, for me, just check the source. Problem I had, I think, most with everything that I heard from the comments were the continuous use of the word bitch. Uh, and I know what a person would say in your position, I never called Melody a bitch, but you inferred bitch. Now we know bitch can be used as a term of endearment for some people. Like Trina say she the baddest bitch, which is, hey, she bad. So, you know, if you were saying Melody is a bad bitch, then it's kind of okay, but it's really not. But, you know, I can get with that a little bit. But when you start saying stuff like a bitch is beefing with my cousin and let that bitch say anything beyond hello to me, I'm not sitting up here having no conversation with this bitch, that's negative to me. That's in a very distasteful, honorary, um, like hateful um, way of using the word bitch. And you use it a couple of times too many, which I didn't like. And obviously a whole lot of other people didn't like. Because my thing is this. You wouldn't want nobody calling your mammy a bitch or saying or inferring that bitch had a bitch. I mean, it just wouldn't be right. So I think you ought to think about what you say and how you say it. If you're going to be a blogger to me, you should have some balance. And somebody said a journalist, no damn journalist, because a journalist is unbiased. They report information. They tell information. They report facts. You report an opinion. So to me, you are whatever you call it, whatever you are. But just make sure you have the information right. So obviously you get information from the other people because you saying you didn't watch the show the last two seasons, um, but now you're going to watch it. Yes, you're going to start watching it now because you went down to Huntsville and had some um, some kind of potatoes, um, double baked potatoes that were brought to the house where you were or something for the Juneteenth weekend. So now everything is good. I'm in this corner and everything I'm going to say is about about this person is going to be negative. But you can say anything you want about Melody because she's strong enough to handle her own. Now, I do know that she's strong enough to handle her own. Say whatever you want, but watch the bitch word. I don't like the bitch tone. Because first of all, you don't want nobody calling you no names that, you know, are derogatory. Because I don't. I don't even want you to infer a name on me as derogatory because I'm not going to like it. You're not going to like it. Um. So pretty much, oh, one other thing that bothered me, when it came out about a naked picture in Marceau's phone and the camera hit Melody's face. Now, one of the bloggers, I don't know if it was Queen Sheba or Chit Chat with QT, made the comment, you don't know if the production grabbed that smile from another situation and put it there. You don't know. So you made a comment, she's basically, she's, She's laughing and she's glad to hear that, uh, you know, a person's marriage is possibly being going to be destroyed. She can't destroy nobody's marriage, first of all. And I took from when I saw her face on that was feeling like she was being vindicated because all this time some person has been saying they don't know nothing about cheating. I ain't never seen nothing. You a lie because you obviously been knowing about it for over what 11 years or 14, however many years you said. 
And then you said, somebody said it was a heart on there. I don't even know if they had hearts and all that lights back then, you know, 11 years ago with the phones. So, I mean, a lot don't care who tell it, it just wants to be told. And if you're going to do something, tell the truth. And I can verify. I haven't caught her yet lying. And I'm not saying that because Melody is my sister. But one thing about, I just say us, we ain't going to lie because we don't know how. If we lie, we're going to get caught. I will get caught, so I don't even know how to lie. I won't even try. And she's not going to lie. She's going to be straight up. Straight. It is what it is. Like, if you know something about me, what? What? It's not, I'm not going to die from it because I've come to the knowledge of knowing one person's shit don't smell no worse than the other person's shit. So whatever you got on me, it couldn't be no worse than what the next person or yours. So I don't think she's gloating and happy about or hoping that someone's marriage ends. Or that they're having problems because she's not that type of person because she really could care less. If you knew her movements, you will know that she don't really care. She don't get into that. Um, so you obviously don't know her. And I can guarantee you, you never will because she won't. Oh, I'm going start cussing. She don't help with people like you. And she won't. It'll be high and by. Like you said, uh, Kiki would do, if, if your cousin was beefing with somebody, it might be a hello and a bye. That's how it'll be with you for the rest of your life. It'll be a hello and a goodbye. Trust me. Um, so that's all I just want to say. Just remember that he does have some people in her family that's on her side. We just don't say nothing because we try to stay out of this because it is um, public, bigger type stuff. It's a show. Um, but when you start making some of these bad, bad comments, like, you know, hey, that stuff bothers me. And it bothers her family as well. Um, so, you know, I got a whole lot more I could say, but I think I'm through. How about that? Um, yeah, and, I, and then I look at, I see a comment that says, so glad someone is coming out and protecting Mel. Yeah, I mean, you know, she has protection. First of all, she's protected by, by angels. And if you look at Melody, and I'm not saying this because she's my sister, it's just the real deal. Somebody made a comment, one of the bloggers, Queen Sheba or QT or the other one, it's one word that I really like as well. It, it, it has some sense when they talk and they can communicate it real clear. They brought up the fact that Carlos said that he saw something in her. That's basically why he, you know, wanted to do the show. Not because she's my sister, but yeah, it is something special about her. It just is. And if you don't like it, it's just, you just don't like it because it's either, it's, it has to be because of hate, jealousy, or something. But some people just have that it. And she just got it. So, I mean, hell, you can't take it away from her. It just is what it is. So, you know, if you don't like that movement, you don't like what it is, that's just you. But she can't, that's something that she can't change. Not when God gave it to her, he put it in her. So, you know, I mean, haters don't hate. And, and then another comment that was made, which is crazy to me, I just thought about that. He don't get along with nobody on the show. Hell, why would you get along with somebody on the show that's, or people on the show that's constantly got something negative to say about you? And then another one, they ain't doing nothing. I mean, really, she don't have time for that. So is it that she ain't getting along with them or they not getting along with her? So you don't really know the, all the parts you may know a piece but then you got to remember everybody got a side so it's male side their side and the truth so then you have to determine what you're going to believe is truth. and if you believe that it's true that's your perspective you, that's your reality that's your reality but that doesn't mean that's how it is so if you're going to get that side of the story because you're being paid or whatever it is you know that does not make what you say facts mr carroll All right, we're back. So you guys heard that. Um, shout out to Marcus again. I just want to say, like, if I'm playing a video and um, don't come in saying that it's old or whatever, because I don't like that. Like, so anyways, I don't I don't like that. I feel like it's derailing the topic. Um, so, yeah, it's an easy way to get uh, timed out or blocked. So anyways, let me go and read some of these comments. Uh, talk about throwing ish against the wall that ain't sticking, right? They are selling tickets at a bar where you still have to buy food and drinks. <laughs> That's funny. I guess you're paying to see Funky Deneva, right, in person. Um, if you guys are just in, this comes after Funky Deneva announced that 
Love and Marriage Huntsville presents Funky Deneva's Down to the Bar Huntsville R&B Day Party at the Black Cigar Lounge and is happening Sunday, May 26, 2024. Funky Deneva says, Huntsville people, Huntsville people, I had to get my brother at Marceau on the line. Let him know that we are trying to drink and eat up all the food and uh, down to the at Black Cigar Lounge. He told me, bring your ass. And then I had to get at Shona Fwanda on the line and see if she'd help host this bad boy. You could tell that he's trying to get Funky um miss wanda back on the show so maybe um carlos king agreed to it you know all the logistics have been worked out huntsville save the day i'm going to sh uh, show out and have a great uh day with the real people of huntsville get your outfits and y'all knees ready we about to have a good time so that's what um they had to see say i saw a few trolls in the chat it looks like the the scott fans and the you know the haters are out in numbers because they've been like just popping up lately like just having like little stuff to say like some con random content creator probably has like 300 subscribers was in my comments the other day talking about oh you're a problematic blogger that's why we don't like you and i'm a content creator and i was like i don't care like who are you <laughs> if you have to announce that you're a content creator that's like you are so irrelevant like i didn't i don't even know you so i just was like blocked like people are just looking for um like just trying to troll you know like just looking for a moment these days i noticed but anyways these folks pop up like a whack-a-mole yeah do they not watch their own show for real do wanda have one hot pants <laughs> uh wanda and her fupa never dress pro appropriately so this was you they're talking about when uh funky didn't even first went to black and this hey, so we already watched that i'm not going to show the whole thing um but yeah, uh, shout out to here for the hot tea in the chat. Did you guys see that Maurice just did an interview? Speaking of here for hot tea, I uh, did an interview. I was looking at it while um, Melody's brother was talking, but he did an interview with some guys, uh, two guys that had like 800 subscribers. No, no offense to them or anything. I'm just saying that the cast purposely will do that. Like they'll go to smaller YouTubers who won't really call them out or, on anything. So he just did an interview with them. It was boring. I, I wouldn't recommend watching it. I, I flipped through a little bit. They're not talking about nothing. <laughs> He's talking about this season is going to be a game changer for the fans. I was like, okay. Anyway, child. <laughs> um, Funky identified himself as a male. <laughs> You're funny. Uh, he's very male identified and very mean when referring to women. Yeah, definitely he is. He he might bring in a couple people. However, black won't last. Um, Mel don't care. <laughs> Melody ain't worried about the Scots. Who cares? Funky. Uh, Mel doesn't even talk about them. She's not talking about it. He just brought it back up. So now what? Um, who wants to see Funky in Huntsville? <laughs> Apparently someone in the comments was like, oh, uh, I just blocked them. They were like, oh, um, we we asked for Funky and Eva to come. You Melody fans hate you know, whatever. I'm like whatever. Bye. Blocked. I'm not about to um do that. People just want like some attention so bad. <laughs> Funky and Carlos are jealous of successful black women. Yeah, Funky and Carlos wish they was Melody <laughs> by Squint. Yeah, Squint got blocked. Whoever that is. What kind of name is Squint anyway? Or Squint. Anyway, uh, Martel has not moved on, and we will discuss Marcel as much as we want, or they could get off the show. Right. That's the thing about this cast. They just want to like be on the show and nobody talk about them and get like positive uh, press or whatever. You know, like trying to silence the press. Like we really have freedom of press, you know. Um, Funky is a joke. Um, bye, Funky. We don't care about the irrelevant Scots. We are over them in 2024. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't even. I don't even barely talk about the Scots. Uh, what is that chimpanzee talking about? Did he watch the same show we watch? Don don't want to look at him. She'll be sick and throw up. <laughs> um, then tea gonna spill. That's what. Um, I'd rather smoke a joint than buy a ticket to see Funky. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, he knows nothing about Mel and the Scots are bottom feeders. Funky is offended because Marceau is his friend. Did he drag Giselle? <laughs> you know, they're never going to drag Giselle. She looks like as close to white as possible. That's why people love Giselle, you know. Um, but anyways, Funky is the lowest of the low, period. Um, Funkbox is talking about subjects from five years ago, right? He wants to teach his husband to get an all bent out of shape for his boot. <laughs> um, acting, Carlos, get your friend. He cared too much for what? 
Um, so Funky believes Marcel cheated, but nobody should talk about it. Okay, I see. Men stick together no matter what exactly. Um, Funky, who you mean? Alonda, Becky, or Jasmine? <laughs> Who's Jasmine? Um, Mel, don't talk about the Scott's marriages. This little boy is a whole clown. Why he didn't tell Martel that he started it? Why do they think everybody is getting cheated on? Yeah, that's because this, this cast is full of cheaters. So they think everybody in the world is getting cheated on. Like, love it, Mary Tunsville crowd. Uh, Arion does the same thing. She thinks every man is cheating because she cheated with a man, you know? Love it, Mary Tunsville crowd, but the Hunts. But the housewives crowd, it's easy peasy versus housewives. Um, yes, Martel has a hook and a curve. Oh, did I miss 11-11? Fungi <laughs> hates women, period, and I can't stand him. All of them plotting against Melody. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, hey, Empress Radio on chat. Funky needs to chill and leave real people, right? Funky and Carlos King are two of the same women. <laughs> um, let me see. Someone said he secretly hates uh, women. He is horrible, not like this at all. I can't stand toxic, dirty, disgusting, toxic black men that support the abuse and harassment of women. Yeah, you said a word. Um, I hate him. <laughs> uh, I don't hate him, but yeah, I don't I don't care for him. He's such a vow person, and I would drag his ass right back to court and left him under the family court. Um, I would have put the, oh, I can't read that. <laughs> She's not playing. <laughs> um, most definitely had my disappointment with um, somebody who thought he was all this and that, but not working with anything down below. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes men, they're like that, like, they think that they're just God's gift to the woman and like aren't even doing nothing down there, you know. <laughs> um, he's still dragging Mel. Um, he is making some valid points. Whether you like it or not, he is saying that he would have helped Martel clap back, but disrespect is on par with his brand. It's not surprising. I agree with you for sure. Um, so nobody had anything to say when men were attacking Mel. Mm -hmm. He better stay in his lane. Um, hey, Empress and chat, uh, Funky Deneva, what a maggot, the worst animal on earth. <laughs> Look at it. That's funny. Um, but Matt, a, a wow hunt of women are speaking in support of her shameful disgrace to our community. Mm -hmm. The 24-hour fast is pulling out a next level of demons, but they can't rise, um, can't stop Mel's rise because it's from God. I saw a comment that was like, because um, you know how Melody said shaking up the heavens? And then um, somebody on the haters channel, they were like, oh, only demons will want to disrupt heaven. Or And I was like, you guys are reaching. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> Um, no one sticks for battered women though, and that's crazy. No, they don't. As you guys could see, that one content creator was like talking about my domestic violence situations and making light of it all because she started some beef, you know. But we said we were gonna squash it, so I'm not gonna talk about it. But yeah, they they really don't <laughs> like they'll like laugh at you leaving a, a toxic situation, you know. Um, no, don't go back to Huntsville, by the way. Who is his boyfriend? I don't know who's funky with. I don't think he has Funky has a boyfriend. I think he just like sleeps with like married men and random men who like just want to sleep with him. Like, you know, I don't think he has like long term partners or anything, but I could be wrong. Um, I'm so glad I quit following him on all platforms. His spirit is nasty. Yeah, I don't I follow him. So I follow him and I'll watch certain certain videos like I'll pick and choose here and there. Um, but for the most part, I don't watch him. I can't stand him. He makes my skin crawl. <laughs> They're all miserable and ain't going to do ish. Hotel has 50-50 with no child support. He better not listen to Funky for real. <laughs> he has a good. That was so ugly, mean-spirited, and messy, and self-serving. Yep. Mm -hmm. And watch. They make it mandatory for all the cast to be present. Right. Melody probably ain't going to that. <laughs> Funky Deneva has jumped on the jealous bandwagon with the Scots and his jealousy against Melody. I'm sorry, but I wouldn't go to any show where Funky Deneva is coming together with the Scots. Yeah. No gay man can ever say how a woman feels. Most gay men um, are not our allies. The same being real. Not all, but a lot of them still have a uh, male pathology, no matter how much D they <laughs> I mean, a man is going to be a man, right? It doesn't really matter. Um, but I don't have a problem, um, you know, contrary to popular belief. I don't have a problem with gay men or anything like that. Um, love me some Marcus. I don't think that gay men is saying how male feels. That's an odd statement. Uh, Marcus stands on business. Did he call him Monkey Deneva? He did. He did. Um, to protect her kids. And Tisha is a phony. Her husband is sending signals. They're not discussing their marriage. They're aligning with her abuser. Mm, Tisha, her uh, husband, is ridiculous. As a man, I can say Funky Deneva is not a man. <laughs> Come on, big brother, brothering. <laughs> um, he's in his feelings because his ops, Claudia, co-hosted Mel's Black Excellence Function. Mm. 
But Claudia Jordan, I don't know. She was all in Carlos King's comments, like, yes, King, or whatever, when he was shading Melody. So I don't know about Claudia, but all right. Um, Monkey Deneva is a good one. Yes, he did here for the hot tea. Let me show you, because I don't want you guys to just think that I'm hating or anything, because I'm not um, Carlos King. The other day, he had made this post, like, shading, being really shady. Um and then Claudia Jordan was in the comments. Like, I'm not telling her who she could be friends with. But, yeah, a message and your skin looks great, friend, you know. So I was like, okay, Claudia. But anyway, <laughs> um, maybe she's just staying out of it. But, yeah. Um, but it's not you, is it? And it has absolutely nothing to do with you. Are you Melody's husband? Nope. And Martel is a grown up, a grown man, which she has six kids. And he made his uh, bed. Now he has to lay in it. Here for Hati is laughing. <laughs> uh, this is a blast from the past. Marcus eight for real, and I love it. Yeah, Marcus is hot. Uh, remember, no weapons formed against will succeed. Funky can support who he wants to. Mel can handle herself. <laughs> Marcus, the professor, making notes right, and that's why I get irritated when people are like, "Oh, is this old?" Because it's like some stuff is still relevant, or some people haven't seen it, and it, it's like, "Oh, yeah, this is relevant," you know, or it's just entertainment, or it's relevant to talk about, you know. So it just makes me irritated when people come talking about oh it's old you know like i know it's old i, I posted it you know um marcus the professor making notes hotel is hella disrespectful and deneva got in his feelings over a d boy bye <laughs> um these folks better leave me all alone funky been filed for a long time tisha took pleasure you sound crazy hence funky I heard black is closed. Don't believe everything you hear. Yeah, I heard that too, but I don't know. And I ain't trying to deal with the Scots and their problems. I don't care. <laughs> like, I really don't care about this cast and what they're doing and whatever they're lying about. I don't care that much, you know. Marcus is telling the truth. But I will say while I have you guys here, I'm not going to make a full video about it. But let me see if I could show you guys really quick, really quick while I'm here. Um, so you guys know how Stormy's manager or whatever, um, Stormy's COO, Stormy slash Kyle, was saying that all these dupes popped up last week. Um, popped up last week trying to, like, you know, whatever they were saying. Um, but I saw this, this lady on Etsy who was selling these products. And it, they were selling them in January. So it wasn't last week. So I was confused. Let me see if I could find her. Because I ordered some and it was $2. So because I was like, I'm not paying $25 when I could pay $2, you know. And I'm not saying that Stormy's product isn't, you know, legit. I'm just saying that there was someone on Etsy that started selling them in January. Um, and let me see if I could find it. Because I think I bought the strawberry shortcake um, from this girl. She's this black girl. Is this her? Yeah. So I bought this. Let me show you guys really quick while I have you here. Um, I bought this product and it was literally $2, if you see, uh, by Enchanted Embellish. And it was it came super quick. Black girl here. Um, that's her. And if you look at her product reviews, and I'm not saying that Stormy, again, I'm, I don't know what Stormy's up to or, you know, I'm pretty sure her stuff is... Uh, not white labeled or whatever. But what I'm saying is this girl in particular has been selling these glazes at least since January. So they said that it just popped up um, a week ago. Like, I don't think so. Like, I don't know where she got hers. I'm not, I didn't ask her like, oh, where'd you start selling it? But the fact that she said a week ago, I was like, um, I don't know about a week ago because she's been selling it since January. Um, anyway, so it smelled really good. Um, I don't know how Stormy's products smell because I didn't, like I said, I've never tried them and I'm not saying that you guys shouldn't, but what I am saying is this is a black girl and this is a black owned business. And I just want you guys to know that, um, she's selling these products, you know, so this is all her items, featured items and stuff like that. Um, so again, I got the strawberry shortcake. It was $2 plus, um, shipping and they came really quick. So that's all I'm saying. I, I don't care about if Stormy, um. Like nothing. I'm not making any allegations about Stormy. So I'm just saying that I bought the I, I bought this product because I was curious. Anyway, um, so if you want to buy a product that's two dollars, go ahead and um hit up that girl on Etsy. It, it smelled really good. Anyways, Cloud Nine in the background. Um, oh yeah, I heard that in the background. Um, I really wish I knew her so I could see the truth. Um, I could care less if black is open or closed. That's what I was just saying. I don't care really. Uh facts, Mel has got in her favor. I like Marceau. 
I wouldn't say I like Marceau or don't like Marceau, but sometimes he has really good comic relief. Um, it makes the show a little lighter sometimes with Marceau. So I like that. A lot of people don't like Tisha, and I don't hate Tisha. She's been wrong sometimes, but I feel like Tisha is like in a toxic marriage, and I wish that she would like do better, you know. Um, that's as far as I like the opinion I have on Tisha, you know. Um I'm starting to back away and people think that I just hate all the cast and love Melody and hate all the cast. And that's not even true. Like I liked Kimmy before she turned into like, like a doormat. Like, I don't know what happened because she used to be strong in the first few seasons. Uh, I don't care for Maurice um, and I never really care for Maurice. I always said in the beginning, I was like, Maurice is the worst one. Like, cause he's like hidden with his, um, and it turns out, yeah, <laughs> uh, Martel, I don't care for him at all. Um, Stormy, I don't like Stormy, but I like Courtney and I like their marriage. Like they seem pretty cool together, um, but I don't like Stormy personally. Um, Kiki, I could do without her or with her. I'm cool with either way. Um, not my favorite. Uh, who else is on the show? Tiffany, I didn't care for her, but I respect her getting off the show for her um, mental health and all that. I liked Lou. Who else is on there? Anyone else is probably irrelevant. Who else is on there? I don't care. <laughs> so anyone else that I missed, I don't care. Uh, Melody is a queen. That goes without saying. Uh, There's no right way. All truths come to light. Build her office. He can't pay off. Uh, jealousy is a powerful drug. And so very many people are jealous of Melody Sheree. Mm -hmm. Marcus got notes. <laughs> yeah, he was on it. <laughs> uh, he always, whenever he had, claps back, he has like like a whole like list, you know, he's on it. Um how about we put some notes out on Marcus? I don't get it. Um, funky can't be unbiased when it comes to women. It's a tone in which the B word is used. That makes all the difference. Right, exactly. Because if you're just like, yes, bitch, yes, yes, you know, that's cool. But if you're like, yeah, bitch, you're like, whoa, 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 calm down. You know, like, dang, <laughs> don't call me that. But yeah, Sheree was a farce like you. Mm -hmm. He needs to go hide with his bimbo looking ass. <laughs> Martel is still over there liking Sheree's pictures and stuff. Like Sheree said, he still be calling her. <laughs> Momosa's with the snots, the hillbillies version hosted by Hook on Phonics special guest Funky to me. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Um, trust and believe Funky is going to respond to this video. He is that petty. Funky had said nothing. When Marcus clapped back, Funky had nothing to say at all. Uh, Marcus knows how to read. Marcus says a goal. Facts. Um, you need to slow down and grow up off your hook. No one needs you as a friend. She did nothing. Um, all truths come to light. Melody is so blessed that it takes that many of them to come for her at all angles and still they aren't learning their lesson. Mm -hmm. Marcus is on point because she finally refused to let a man husband continue to drag her so he could bring her back as TVs. People hate when you leave a man like they do not like that. Uh, Mel has the power of the infinite spirit behind her. Love knows no boundaries. Mel has the it factor. Hate is going to hate. Funky hates women. Um, Tisha is not the first or last reality TV wife that has their marriage scrutinized on TV. Yeah, exactly. Like these people are so weak. Like, um, I'm late to the party. It's okay. Start over or just, you know, continue. I'm just reading comments at this point. Um, I would not spend one copper penny to see Funky Geneva. Carlos King scared. He ain't doing none of that. Bravo for Funky. No one wants to eat Wanda's food. <laughs> Nasty. I don't. Um, what does she have? Chitlin dressing and just the thought, like the thought of it, just ugh. I like I want to throw up just thinking about it. Um, and I like dread. I mean, I like chitlins. You know how some people won't eat chitlins? Like once every few years, I'll eat chitlins, like maybe for New Year's or something. Um, my grandpa, he used to make hog moths and chitlins. Oh, used to be so good. Um, but with dressing, no. <laughs> and Wanda's chitlins probably ain't clean. Uh, nah, I wouldn't do it. I don't recommend it. Alice, he coming for Melody. I watched the live. Somebody explain, please. Uh, you must have not watched it. Go back and rewatch it again. Uh, Wanda will never be back on the show. <laughs> yes, thank you for your engagement. Um, what she got on. <laughs> uh, Funky is like the ignorant older uncle that everyone has in their family. Just be loud and wrong a lot of times. Yeah, I have an uncle that's like a serious Trump supporter. And he just like loves Trump and like he sounds exactly like the Trump fans or whatever, but he's black and it's so weird, you know, like he just loves him. Um, 
have you guys seen that black people for Trump is uh, uh, a mess anyway? And that's no offense to anyone who actually likes Trump. Uh, the people in Huntsville probably don't even know who Funky Monkey is. <laughs> Not that you guys call him Funky Monkey. <laughs> that reminds me of like Chunky Monkey ice cream. Um, why would Melody associate herself with darkness when she's letting her light shine that God has favored her with? When you have the favor of God, nothing can stop her or shake her. Amen to that. Funky needs to pay that lady for her house <laughs> he destroyed. For real. <laughs> that was sad. Poor thing. Um, uh, Michelle Atielian. I think Funky is seeking the Scots because Claudia was with Mel. Maybe. Um, but Claudia is friends with Carlos King, so I don't know. Um, so what number event are we on that the Scots need help with? They needed the dentist to help with their event in Atlanta, and now they have Funky because their events won't sell themselves. Mm. That's interesting. Uh, Marceau said that he made 17 million. We're not stupid. He doesn't live like he has 17 million to that point. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe that. But allegedly, I don't, I don't allegedly believe that. <laughs> so because he's doing a meet and greet, he's against Melody. Um, this is some hater and I'm not even going to argue back and forth with you. <laughs> uh, so I don't feel like it. Anyway, Carlos King and Funky are good friends. It's a pattern with Carlos, just like he uses Dr. Heavenly, right? Ain't none of them going to be able to get in black once they put that padlock on the door. But do you guys see just while I'm commenting, there's like a few like haters in the chat. I've been saying more lately. Like they just been coming to my channel, like just like saying little stuff. And I'm just like, go away. I like when my channel has like no haters, like I'll be cool with less subscribers if there's like no haters, you know, but lately I've been, I guess, cause when you have a lot of views or something, like when my views are up, like there's more haters. I don't understand. It's probably cause like I said, all the, um, the bloggers that are like on that sector, the hating sector, they've been like giving me shout outs or something. I don't know. <laughs> like, thank you. Enjoy, but stay in the bushes. Cause I'm tired of blocking you guys. <laughs> um, I need a G fit. He don't like mail. He also called her a B. Don't explain it. Just, they know, they know what we're talking about. They're being willfully obtuse. Um, oh, goodness, this is a hate train for anything male. Child, they are hella desperate. Hopefully the DEA is on standby because, you know, what they like to do. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Um, they are bothered. He was right, though. Um, but they want to get mad when we attack. Mm -hmm. And Funky Deneva, you should do the same as Mel's brother. Funky is going down the wrong road. The Scots will self-destruct. Activate it, she says. <laughs> um, some things she just adding fragrance to them. Oh, you're talking about um, Stormy. Same thing, she's just adding fragrance to them. That's why she's mad. Allegedly, I'm not saying um, I'm not saying nothing about that girl. <laughs> um, I don't care about Stormy's business. I was just saying that I found a black-owned business that has the same products for two dollars, and maybe they're different products or something. I don't know. All I know is it smells really good and to support it. Shout out to her because it came really fast. I forgot that I even ordered it and it came so fast and I was like, oh, wow. So yeah, I like that. Um, I think it's like embellished something. Um, but yeah, anyway, shout out to her. Nobody thinking about sniffing snotty nose, uh, Deneva. Get your damn sinuses fixed so you can breathe. Well, at least the girl's label is different. Yeah. <laughs> um, why everyone going down the wrong road because they don't like male? They don't have to like her. It's getting ridiculous and redundant. See what I'm saying? Like they're they're in here deep. <laughs> um, Empress, lol. I'm cracking up. I don't like none of them, but Mel, I could care less about toilet tissue. <laughs> um, Destiny, exactly. Thank you, Empress. Great content. Thanks for sharing chats on screen. No problem. <laughs> hey, Empress, I eat chitlins too. Yeah, chitlins. You know, people be uh, sleeping on chitlins sometimes, though, in the right mood, you know, with some soul food. Anyway, um, hey, Empress Radio and everyone in chat. But I will say chitlins really stink when they're getting cleaned. Oh, I used to hate when my mom would do that. <laughs> Marcel got $17. That's it. <laughs> Bye, <laughs> Brie Barnes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know where these people are coming from. Uh, they're threatened. Um, how these people hate Mel, she don't give two shits about them, right? Um, I don't know what that says. But yeah, so that is the end of the comments. We finally caught up. And again, I don't care about what Stormy or the Scots are doing with their business. I really don't. <laughs> but yeah, so anyways, I'm heading out. What do you guys think about this? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos from Interest Radio. Okay, bye.